today's video is on an item that I have had and carried for a few months now. It's just taken me a while to make the video. And that is in fact the Benchmade Damasteel uh, Tactical Pen, which is found in their 1100 series. And there are a few variations. There are some anodized ones, aluminum, stainless steel, and then you have the Damasteel variation, which is kind of the cream of the crop as far as their um, pens go. So it, the designators or the item numbers are 1100-13 and 14, I believe, or maybe it's 14 and 15. Either way, the only difference is one comes with blue ink and one comes with black ink. So um, this is made out of Damasteel, and Damasteel is a, essentially it's a brand name or a company out of Sweden, and apparently they hold the international uh, patent to produce uh, a Damascus type of pattern or um, a pattern steel using a powdered metallurgy. And uh, apparently it's done via forge welding and they use two different stainless steels versus um, the other methods using carbon type of steels, which is really good for a pen application because um, obviously your hands and your oils are over this or on this all day and you don't clean it every time you use it. So I don't claim to be um, a metal aficionado or really understand the intricacies of Damasteel, but I can certainly appreciate the beauty and the pattern that it takes. And apparently this one is a, I believe a blue tongue Damasteel, or that's the pattern name that they create. So let's take a look at the pen kind of in depth here. So obviously it's, it's made for a tactical role. Um, you have a blunt end here, but um, it comes to enough of a point that if you hit someone with a, a good impact or enough strength, it would it would certainly cause damage um, and hopefully cause them to stop whatever it is that they are doing. Um, but they do have some nice uh, machining into this. Um, you have these different recessed areas that are that are great for grip. And then you have nice knurling all over the the cap and then the area which you hold to write. So this comes off, just um, pops on and off, just like that. And then here's what it looks like right here. So this, this pattern here works well. I typically place my fingers in these wider areas here um, rather than the smaller areas. It's just more comfortable. And uh, I did swap out the, it uses the Fisher Space Pen, which is an excellent refill. I like them, I like them quite a bit. And I did swap it out immediately for the fine tip as I do prefer that. So again, here's just an up close look at the beautiful pattern found all throughout this pen. So, pops on, pops off. And that's that's quite nice. Um, it's it's a lot easier to take this out of your pocket and pop the cap off than it is, let's say, with this Embassy Elite where it screws off. And this one does screw off quite well. It only takes um, three turns essentially to go on or two quick turns to come off. But as you can imagine, obviously there's a speed differential when you just pop the top off of this. Now the cap can fit on the top somewhat there's a little bit of friction there, so we'll stay in place, but I wouldn't recommend writing that way because it does make it, again, top heavy with the cap on here, and it, it's not comfortable to write with. I typically just take this off, set it on the piece of paper, and then I write away like this. The balance is actually fairly good. Most of the weight can be found in this section here, so right behind the grippy area, or at least in the bottom half, of the of the pen so it doesn't really cause hand fatigue uh, whereas if we compare that let's say again with the embassy elite most of the weight is found in the back portion here as you can imagine so when you're writing for long periods of time um, it does tend to cause a bit more hand fatigue because you want the weight towards the tip so just one thing to consider so how about some size comparisons embassy elite bench made damasteel Here's a Sharpie, and then here is a Bic Atlantis, which is one of my favorite cheapy pens. This thing writes pretty well. So let's see if we can get that all in frame here. 
Uh, mostly. Anyhow, um, there's a size comparison. I mean, it's pretty comparable in size to the Sharpie, both in length and in uh, thickness. So, um, so let's take a look at, I guess, weight. That'd be a good one. Got my scale here. Let's pull it out and tear it real quick. Okay, and it's currently set to ounces, so. 3.2 ounces. So that's a, and here's a reference. Let's take a look at how much a Sharpie weighs. Sharpie weighs 0.3. So obviously the pen is much, much heavier. Uh, let's take a look at the Embassy Elite. This one's 3.8 ounces, so even heavier than the Dama Steel. As you can hear the weight as it hits the table here. And then just Bic Atlantis, just because it's here. 0.3, so pretty close to the Sharpie. Um, very lightweight. But anyhow, um, if I guess if there are any gripes with this pen, um, I actually had to um, to Loctite it. So what would happen is right here is where it, it unscrews to replace the refill. So obviously this separates from this and then you have a, a spring in the front. And every time I would take it out of my pocket and take the cap off, it, it was always, always, always loose. And so I'd have to take it out, I'd take the cap off, I'd tighten it down, and then I'd write with it. And after probably two months, I said screw it, and I just Loctited it because I got tired of doing it, and it hasn't. Obviously, I, I just used some standard blue Loctite, so with enough force it will come undone and I can replace the refill without too much problem. But anyhow, this is a, an item I think that a lot of people overlook in kind of their everyday carry load. A pen is, is very useful and it's very rewarding to have something that you really enjoy taking out and using to write with. And obviously this isn't the type of pen that I would sit down and take three hours of notes with. Um, as occurs in, in my grad classes, I typically use my tablet or a laptop for that type of role. But when you're taking it out, writing for 15, 20, even 30 minutes, this thing is, is just fine. It's very comfortable, um, and the weight is fairly well balanced, so you can write with it. And I mean, it's just it's just an absolutely beautiful pen. I mean, the, the thought that they put into making this attractive while tactical is, um, was quite astounding. And I haven't tried to take this into you know, courthouse or airports or anything, it's its a little too pricey to uh, take that gamble with, um, at least with the airports. But, um, it and again, price-wise, it's, it's much, much more expensive than, let's say, the Embassy Elite. But obviously, you're getting something extra, and that is this beautiful pattern in the Dama Steel. Let's see if you can see it here, on the edge of the cap. Probably not, but anyhow. Um, in, the other nice thing too is when you buy a pen made out of damascus steel, um, it's virtually indestructible. Uh, one of my good friends, he had a um, he had a Mont Blanc, and it was a ceramic, so obviously it would not it wouldn't scratch, and it was you know I don't know how much he paid for it, but I'm sure it was quite pricey. And he was at a function, and the pen dropped and fell on a tile floor and shattered. And his wife was standing right there, and she knew how much the pen cost, so he was in trouble. He went for a carbon fiber variation Mont Blanc after that. Um, but if this thing were to fall out of my pocket and hit a tile floor, chances are the tile's probably going to crack, which isn't necessarily a good thing either, but you won't really damage the pen. I mean, this thing is almost indestructible. It does have a deep carry pocket clip which is nice because that means it's not going to come out of your pocket. And I've never had um, I've never had it open up like this in my pocket and have the pen disconnect from the cap. There's great retention here. So uh, it's adhered with two uh, torque screws up top. And so the pen, so the clip could probably be replaced. This is uh, definitely a stainless steel clip. And for clips, I do prefer stainless steel over titanium. Um, they're just stronger. They hold their retention better in my experience as far as a spring clip goes. If it was a 3D machine clip, that'd be a different story. Um, but for as far as spring clips goes, I, d I definitely prefer stainless steel. And despite this being in my pocket, probably every other day for the last two months, the pocket clip has held up quite well. You can see a few nicks and scratches, but 
the type of finish they used here lends itself well to um, abuse. So, anyways, one final look at the Benchmade 1100 series Damasteel pen. Um, and it's just a great option to have as far as um, as far as your EDC gear. It's beautiful, it, it writes well, and um, I have received numerous compliments on this pen where they say, wow, that's, that's beautiful. Whereas this pen, they pick it up and they say, wow, that's heavy. You know, they don't really compliment, um, you know, the aesthetics um, or the craftsmanship in the pen, even though, I mean, obviously this one abounds with with excellent machining work, great knurling, but uh, anyhow, beautiful pen, great EDC option, rather pricey, but when you consider what some people spend on pens, um, it's, it, again, it's, it's all on your scope, but um, I certainly think it was worth it, and uh, yeah, so anyways, check it out, Benchmade Damasteel Pens, um, and I would definitely recommend you go with the Fine Tip Space Fisher Space Refill. The fine tip just, it's my preference and it writes much nicer, much cleaner. So anyways, comments or questions, you can put them down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.